time. Hello, I'm Liz and I'm a member at the Free Church and it's great to be with you today. I love reading and one of the nice things that's happened during lockdown is my friend Sally and I have begun swapping books and, and that's been really great to read some new books, some new stories. I'll read pretty much anything. I like detective novels and thrillers. I'll read sagas or science fiction. I also really enjoy reading children's books and particularly revisiting some of those books that were a big part of my own childhood. And I find that you can get a lot of inspiration, even truth, from these books. One of the ones I've revisited in the last few weeks is Anne of Green Gables. I don't know if you know this book, it's the story of an 11 year old girl called Anne and she's an orphan and she is uh, adopted by an elderly brother and sister called Marilla and Matthew who take her to their farm and raise her and it's just a great book. And there's a passage in it that I particularly like. It's right towards the start and Anne has just come to the farm. And Marilla decides she needs to teach Anne how to pray. And I'm going to read it to you. Marilla decided that Anne's religious training must be begun at once. Plainly, there was no time to be lost. You must say your prayers while you are under my roof, Anne. Why, of course, if you want me to, assented Anne cheerfully. I'll do anything to oblige you. But you'll have to tell me what to say for this once. After I get into bed, I'll imagine out a real nice prayer to say, always. I believe it will be quite interesting now I come to think of it. You must kneel down, said Marilla in embarrassment. Anne knelt at Marilla's knee and looked up gravely. Why must people kneel down to pray? If I really wanted to pray, I'll tell you what I'd do. I'd go out into a great big field all alone or into the deep deep woods and I'd look up into the sky up 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 into that lovely blue sky that looks as if there was no end to its blueness and then I'd just feel a prayer. I love Anne's attitude to prayer, I love her vision of prayer that it's so much more just than speaking words and it reminds me of um, a verse in the Bible, a verse in Romans 8, and I'm going to read it to you uh, from the message version. It says this, Meanwhile, the moment we get tired in the waiting, God's spirit is right alongside, helping us along. If we don't know how or what to pray, it doesn't matter. He does our praying in and for us, with groans that words cannot express. You know, perhaps at the moment, you don't have the words to pray. You don't have the words to express your grief. You don't have the words to give shape to your hope. You don't have the words to pray for a pandemic. Perhaps you need to do an Anne of Green Gables you need to look up, up, up into that lovely blue sky and to be reminded that God is present with you, that his spirit is in and around you and praying through you. And then just feel your prayer. And even if you don't use words, do know that God hears you, that he's with you that he loves you. Well, I hope you have a good day and I hope to see you soon. And uh, if you've got nothing else to do, get a copy of Anne and Grieve Gables and read it because it's lovely. Have a great day. Bye.